Uh, yes, uh, hi everyone. Um, I'm here in Hong Kong today with um, uh, Schubert, uh, Schubert Marabu. Schubert Marabu, um, he's uh, from uh, Tanzania and he's come to Hong Kong. Uh, yesterday we had a government meeting at the Letco uh, concerned with um, the banning of ivory. Now, um, uh, Schubert is uh, actively involved with seeing that something's done about this disastrous situation with the, uh, the killing of elephants and uh, the sale of ivory that's been going on for years and years and it's been depleting the, the, uh, the, the, the numbers of elephants uh, throughout Africa. Uh, Schubert, um, so you're from Tan, uh, Tan, Tanzania. Um, have, just, just to equate my readers and myself, or my listeners and myself, yes. how many countries are there in Africa? About 29 or more? Or? Uh, many countries. Uh, <laughs> you haven't had a chance to count them. It's a bit like me, yes, we haven't had a chance to count them. Uh, okay, um, well, of the African countries, um, how many are f affected by the, um, the culling of elephants? All of them, or just a certain number? or? Uh, yes, actually not uh, every African country is, uh, have elephants. Okay. Yes, but uh, for those that have, uh, some of them that uh, uh, the poaching crisis has affected the most is including my country, Tanzania. Okay. Because poaching is in Kenya, poaching is in Mozambique. Yeah, so. so. Okay, but you said Portuguese. Poaching. Oh, poaching, poaching, poaching. Yeah. poaching. Okay, fine, okay. Um, so, uh, what, what are the main countries in Africa that are really um, at threat with the uh, Elephant uh, poaching at the moment. Uh, so uh, Tanzania, yeah, Tanzania, Kenya is happening. Kenya, uh, Zimbabwe, yeah. Zimbabwe. Yes, uh, Chad, Chad. Yes. Okay. Botswana, uh, they are doing well actually. South oh, okay. Africa. Yes. Yeah, it's a problem there too, yeah, is it? Okay. Yeah. Well, look, I remember um, a book uh, for teaching English uh, mm -hmm. back in uh, the early eighties by um, a book called Storylines by. Um, uh, two authors, Fletcher and Bird. It was a Longman publication, and one of the uh, chapters in it was uh, about the um, the culling of Africa of uh, uh, elephants in Africa. And back then, and we're talking 1984, it was a dire situation where the the numbers of, Af of elephants that were being killed was at a, an alarming proportion. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking at something like 40 years hence, yes. and um, so. The, the elephants that are left, uh, that m means that it must be such a dramatic situation. So many yeah. of them must have been killed. Yes. So have you got any statistics about how many, say, Afri uh, how many elephants there are in uh, Tanzania? Do yes, uh, actually uh, through the census from the Tawiri, Tawiri is an near Wildlife Research Institute, that we have lost almost half of our elephants in five years. In five years, right? Yes. And what sort of number? Well, five years ago, how many? Yes, uh, in two hundred and nine, uh, we had about one zero nine thousand elephants. Right. And uh, so hundred nine thousand. Yeah. Yes, and twenty fourteen, uh, we had about forty three thousand elephants. Oh my God! Yes, and the statistics from the Great Elephant Census, uh, yeah, we have almost fifty thousand elephants now. Right. Well, yeah. that's a slaughter, that's isn't it? It's just yes. a, so, a genocide of the whole population. Yeah. Well, that's, the yeah. Island. It's terrible. Yeah, it's really shocking. Um, so, uh, now you represent a few organisations here at the moment uh, yeah. with your trip to Hong Kong. Yeah. Uh, what are those organisations? I can see you're, you're wearing um, the Global March and the uh, Aqua Meridian. Yes. Could you let, explain those to us a little bit? Yes, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Aqua Meridian and the Global March for Elephants and Rhinos, plus Future for Elephants, are the organisations that uh, made my, uh, my trip possible here. And I'm also the co strategist for the Global March for Elephants and Rhinos. So okay. Yes. Now, are these just African um, organisations or are these global organisations? Uh, actually, the Global March for Elephants and Rhinos is a US... Global, sorry. Global, yes. yes sir. So it has uh, doing the lobby and also several movements preparing marches for over 130 countries, uh, over 130 cities, uh, every uh, October, yes. Last year, uh, 
societies for lobbying for the African elephants uh, through, wild, uh, through the government of elephants and rhinos, supporting the proposals by the African Elephant Coalition yes, for maximum protection of the African elephants. Fantastic, okay. Um, now, um, uh, Schubert, um, what other organisations do you represent at the moment too? Are you representing some other organisations besides Global March and Aqua Meridian? Yes, and Future for Elephants. Oh, future for Elephants, yes, okay. but uh, through the campaign I'm leading in Tanzania is Oko Watengu Tanzania, Save Tanzania's Elephants. Oh, okay, okay, fantastic, okay. I'm, I'm with you, I'm about caught up <laughs> by this stage. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's great. Um, now, uh, so um, are you uh, pr going to other places around the world at the moment, or is this a one-stop thing at the moment, just coming to Hong Kong? Uh, yes, uh, this has been a one-thing fest. Um, right. And, uh, Calling for the government to follow the China's lead, right? In banning the Ivan trade, Hong Kong. Okay. Yes, but uh, we are also uh, planning to reach other places, uh, Taiwan, right. Thailand, Japan, yeah. mm -hmm. where trade is uh, still legal. Uh, so it's one step here uh, because uh, right. yesterday yeah. it was uh, another day to testify, right. testify uh, which I did actually. Okay. Uh, right. Yes, so okay. A lot more news. Yeah. Well, you'll be happy to know that um, uh, this today's interview here now will be going um, to Australia and New, uh, New Zealand, so it'll be uh, uh, give, giving you some coverage in the Southern Hemisphere. Wow, so. that's uh, really good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Spreading the word out and making everyone involved. Yeah, well, you, I'm yeah. sure you know in Australia there's a lot of people who are very, very concerned about it. Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly positive that ivory has been banned. Um, uh, for coming into Australia for many years now, yeah. uh, but uh, you know a bit of active um, uh, stirring by people uh, to uh, put pressure on uh, both the, the Chinese governments and uh, also the African states and what have you um, yeah. to to lift their game and um, you know um, give the animal, the animal, the Af the elephants uh, you know some support and what have you. Uh, in fact, um, I, I did learn that uh, one of your friends, uh, that's a major campaigner in the area, was um, uh, was uh, killed just recently because of his activities with uh, trying to um, uh, look after the elephants. Would you like to explain a little bit about that? Oh yes, uh, we uh, sadly lost a friend, a uh, great uh, leading conservationist uh, in Tanzania, a wine lotter. Right. who was the founder and director of Hunt Foundation, uh, anti poaching and conservation organization in the country. Right. That actually had several efforts in the arrest and prosecute, in arresting the ivory traders right in the country, right. including the famous uh, ivory queen, a young friend land, right. and many others. Yes, and the ivory queen. Uh, the uh, ivory queen, This is uh, Chinese connection, yes, Chinese corruption. Yeah, so. It sounds like the sh shades of what's happened in the Philippines with, with Duterte coming in and, uh, and cleaning up the area, you know, with the drugs and whatever, because there's a lot of um, a, a lot of the uh, drugs are coming directly in from China, from the bad people in China. I'm not saying that uh, everyone's bad in China, and in fact, I know that that's not the case, but um, there are some bad people, and, uh, and this this uh, uh, what uh, the Elephant Queen that you're talking about. Mm. She's pretty evil, is she? <laughs> yes, uh, about uh, killing 700 uh, uh, elephants. Uh, yeah, and about the trafficking, and she had a very big network. And wow. was, uh, yeah, so was being searched for, for many years. Right. Uh, but she was arrested in uh, 2015. Oh, really? Okay. So October 2015, yes. Okay, oh, good, okay. Yeah, yeah. And so, so this uh, wine lodger, a uh, friend of mine, from two weeks ago, yeah. was the leading one uh, uh, with the National Transnational Investigation uh, Prime Unit. Right. Yes, yeah, so to, 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 to make sure that all these traders are put in the law enforcement. Okay, yeah, right, okay, well that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so with your friend, what was he just gunned down on the street or something like that? Or? Yes, uh, he was uh, from the Dar es Salaam airport uh, going to uh, somewhere called Masaki. Right. Uh, yes, uh, for this uh, uh, all the old time um, tax driver uh, with your commission, yeah. uh, going and the car blocked them. Um, so some mad people opened the door and uh, shot him. Oh no, that's terrible. Yeah. I think we're going to have to do something. It's raining. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
we'll dislocate and uh, we'll find another spot there. <laughs> okay, did you feel the cleansing rain then? <laughs> the cleansing rain. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, yeah, so I think we needed it at this stage with the racing around with me, right? Um, yeah, so, uh, yes, you were saying that your friend was uh, taken out by the, mm -hmm. the bad people, the, the, uh, the, the um, elephant ivory uh, traders and mm -hmm. what have you. And so. he received so many death threats before he was shot, so... Right. Uh, but he was brave to keep up the work going for, yeah. for the sake of our elephants and right. mm -hmm. preserving them for the generations. Now, we had um, a, a good bit of... Uh, uh, luck with the government uh, changing, I believe, in what, 2015 in, um, in Tanzania? Yes, uh, in 2015 uh, we had a new president, John Kumbu Fuli. Right. And as part of our campaign uh, for our team, what was year, we wrote uh, the open letter to the president to ask him to act on our three campaign goals. Right. Uh, so the first, of all, the first one is uh, to seek for the government to arrest and prosecute all the ivory traders operating in the country, regardless of right. their position, their nationality, political status, whatever. Right. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so the campaign goal number two, we were asking the government to use a long-standing friendship between the government of Tanzania and China okay. uh, to ask China to ban the ivory markets which mm -hmm. is happening now. And Good. so this is the goal that continues to call for other countries to join. Join, uh, join the, in. Yes, yeah. join in. And our uh, campaign goal number three mm -hmm. is calling for the uh, destruction, public destruction of the ivory stockpile in the country. The stockpile. Yes, right, uh, yeah. of which is believed to be the largest in the world. Yeah, I'm sure. I've seen some photographs. And it's yeah. a, the think of all those huge bodies yeah. of elephants. Yeah. 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 Piled by the thousands mm -hmm. and piles of that. It's terrible to see, yeah. Um, so, um, well, what's the uh, present? He's, he's favourable to the um, anti um, uh, ivory people? He's favourable yeah, to the uh, people? And, uh, yeah, actually, uh, from his first speech at the uh, president addressing to the public in the parliament, right. he mentioned uh, conservation to be among the ch challenges uh, in the country, Good. and he mm. said he's going to address this uh, seriously. Fantastic. Uh, yes. Yes. So That's great. And then yeah. saw various efforts, and he makes uh, various uh, statements on this, yeah. actually telling the judges, these law enforcement organs, uh, uh, I need this to be the priority, no more for cases to be delayed, adjournment always, and you arrest someone with ivory and then you say investigation is still ongoing for years and years. So he's uh, pushing and uh, about a month ago the yeah. government was uh, having training with the, these law enforcement organs uh, just about ivory, the ivory trafficking. Fantastic, and, right. Yes, to combat right. It. So he's cutting to the chase, he's taking it up, he's going to deal with yeah, um, uh, it. Yeah. yeah, but uh, according to the report by Tanzania National Pass Authority, yeah. uh, yes, uh, since 2015-2016, uh, yeah. poaching has been reduced, uh, has, has declined from 80,000 incidents to 2,000 incidents a year. Oh, that's significant. So yeah. significant. Yeah. And also the arrests of about 5,000 people uh, Yes, being arrested and about 2,000 cases of Oh, fantastic. That's good news to yes, hear. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, uh, finally, um, uh, Schubert, yeah. um, uh, uh, an important thing that I was going to, uh, or I wanted to bring up is um, uh, you're a musician. And, yeah, so I am. <laughs> and like yeah. so many of uh, the African musicians I know of, yeah. Uh, they started off um, in uh, church choirs. Uh, yes. You yeah. started off in a Catholic choir in Tanzania. In Tanzania. Yeah, actually, okay. my father is a great uh, music composer, oh, a music composer uh, yes, uh, in the country. And so I started, I started music from when I was a little kid. He taught me right. Life, yeah. And, yeah, so it started with a, car, with, with a church thing. Right, okay. So it yeah. runs in the family. Yes. And, uh, yes uh, and I believe you're putting it to good use. You're um, you're just releasing um, uh, 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 some music about that elephants. Yes. Uh, last year I released a song called "Stop the Ivory Trade," 
which was uh, used by the African Elephant Coalition, uh, actually to support the African Elephant Coalition uh, uh, proposals in the CITES conference in Johannesburg. Right. So yes, the, I performed it at the Global March for Elephants and Rhinos in Johannesburg last year, okay. in September, yes, uh, which was calling for total ban on eyeball trade and uh, maximum protection for the African elephant, uh, elephants. Fantastic. But uh, soon I'll also be releasing uh, another song uh, thanking China's commitment, since we have seen uh, taking actions, right. but calling uh, other countries, uh, the states, to, 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 to follow them. Yeah, yep. To back them up. Back them up. Okay. The right thing to okay. do for our now, with this new, um, new uh, song and the new uh, DVD that you're music uh, video that you're doing. Yes. Uh, you've got some uh, pretty serious other uh, musicians on that too, I believe. Yeah. Um, well, was it uh, Celine Gade or someone like that playing on on the tracks with you? Or? Uh, actually, for those uh, so two songs I've done, I've done alone. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, but uh, oh, you, now but you've got a you've got a concert here tomorrow or something like that, or yes, yeah, so it's uh, it's another big issue that is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, through the effort by Upper Meridian uh, to make a song to comp to compose and record another big song to call for oh, the okay. uh -huh. banning trade. So. I'll be representing Africa, but there will also be other big musicians here, Coco Lee. Coco Lee, that's the one. Yes. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So, so it should be a, a quite a day tomorrow. Wow, yes. Fantastic, okay. Well, Shubert, look, it's uh, been fantastic speaking with you. Wow, well, thank you um, so much. You, 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 um, I really admire your, um, your quest. Wow, uh, it's, uh, it's something that's much needed. Um, you're, you're the man to carry the, uh, the message, I think. Uh, yeah, you're a very personal yeah. person. Um, so, um, best of luck with it. And, Thank you so uh, much. I hope, I hope your, your message spreads right throughout the world and things can uh, really uh, take effect. And Thank you for spreading the word out. My pleasure. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you.